Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to look at Photoshop Beta today and the new adjustment brush tool. Let's see if it's actually any good. So we've got this um, photo shoot I did a couple of months ago for a basketball team. And what we're going to look at today is the adjustment brush tool. So it's under the brush. So like all the other um, brushes, you've got the add function, the takeaway, opacity, flow, and then you can actually decide what you want to use as your adjustment. So in this case, we're going to use brightness and contrast. So the best way to use it would be to select the subject. It automatically, in the property panel, has added contrast and brightness, which is a bit too much. But let's say we want to brighten it up. So there we go. So it is a bit overexposed. So I think in this case, because it's it's in its entirety, what I would personally do is double click this to get the blending options and alt and this one which is the underlying layer which is the background and bring this down and as you can see it now is only applying that brightness to the shadows right so now go to the adjustment brush and choose hue and saturation select subject again and it automatically applies a saturation of 30. So let's take that down. Now, in this case, again, hue and saturation, we've got the subject selected. I would use the color picker tool. And for instance, we will look at this mauve color on the side. It's chosen the color range. And then we can alter the hue, the saturation, lightness and again we can use a, a blending option on that now this is all very good but what I actually think is that this is just a bit of a gimmick I don't know whether it will actually get to um, the full version of Photoshop but I feel that this is it's not it's not a shortcut which is benefiting anyone really. When you're in beta and you've got, you know, select subject anyway, and you select it, and then you go to the adjustments and you can choose whatever you want there. So you can choose brightness and contrast. You've just got the same functionality and you've still got then the same functionality. If you just select the brush tool, and you apply any other settings you want to the mask there. So, is it actually adding anything? I don't think it is. All it's doing is giving you a one-click function and bypassing one step, really. Because in beta, if you use the select subject and then you just click on the adjustment, it's the same process. Um, I don't think you're actually gaining anything. So I think it's a bit of a gimmick. Um, obviously it pulls people in, but you're not really doing anything extra. And also it's not teaching you anything about layers or the process or how you should set up a file or a PSD file in editing work. And because it's negating that, you're actually not learning anything new. So I would advise doing it the, the normal way, but let me know what you think. Put a comment in the section below um, if you've used it, if you haven't. But uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time.